Hey guys, welcome back to another video with me, Louise Egan from winitwordpress.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a background image stay fixed on the screen in your WordPress website. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said today, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a background image fixed in WordPress. So as you can see here, this image is just fixed where it is. It's not actually scrolling, it's just that things are scrolling over it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This, this one is the exact same. I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. So um, I'm using the WP Bakery page builder plugin, which is why um, my editor looks like this. And this is the way I'm going to show you how to do it today. So in this editor, we're going to add a new row. And this is going to be our background picture. So this in itself is one big row. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up uh, just above here. And this is where our row is going to be. So what we're going to do next, we're going to go into edit our row. Now make sure you don't edit the actual content block itself. Make sure you edit the row and everything. Uh, you can leave all this a full height row. Yes. Um, content position, we'll say middle. Yep. Yeah. Um, then what we're going to do is go down and, um, you don't really need any of them. They're all fine. Extra class name. We're going to put in background picture one um you can call this whatever you want but just make sure it's something that you can kind of identify it by next thing you're going to go into design options and you're going to go into um your background and you're going to pick the picture that you want to be your background you can have a color either but it's easiest if it's a picture so let's just say this one again and set image now you probably want to add in some padding let me just see what padding i have on my other ones um this is the row that i've already done so i have 300 px padding top and bottom and that just means that as you can see um this is this one down here now as you can see it takes up the whole screen when you get to it there's no um padding there's there's no uh it's not that it's too small so let's just add our um let's just say we, we add our padding in here the next thing is very very important you want to go down to this box here it should be on team defaults and you want to change it to cover okay so to save changes i'll just delete this new um row that i'm after making because i already have it made here so make sure that is set to cover next that's that bit done you just need to go over to your css and you're going to go down to the bottom you probably it's probably going to look like this at the top go down to the bottom and put in this bit of code dot background picture one or whatever you have named your uh, your row. So that was the class that I gave it, background picture one, if you remember. You can call it anything, but just make sure that it matches what you called it here. So dot, whatever it was, these brackets, and you have background repeat, no repeat, background attachment fixed. Now this code will all be in the description, so you can check that out there. Save changes, and if we preview, you can see that, as I go down, these are all scrolling, whereas this picture and this picture are just staying where they are. So if I didn't have that in there, they would be scrolling the same as everything else. Um, so I hope that really helped, guys. Let me know if it works for you, if it doesn't, and I'll try and troubleshoot, see if what I can do for you. But I hope that this message works for you. So thanks very much. So there you go. Um, basically, it's just a matter of adding in that small little bit of code. Um, I hope this works for you. If not, just let me know in the comments, and I'll do my best to help you out. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Thanks very much, guys.